teman-teman Elsa Dekit Wah aku bersuka cita Kita saatnya sekolah Minggu Bobo Iya wah seneng ya Hari yang dinanti untuk kita memuji Tuhan bersama Yuk sebelum kita mulai ibadah hari ini Kita berdoa dulu ya Bu Berdoa lipat tangan tutup mata Kita berdoa Oke berdoa. Aku berdoa ya Bu Oke. Kamu dirukan Tuhan Yesus Tuhan Yesus Aku bersyukur. Aku bersyukur. Aku mau sekolah minggu. Aku mau sekolah minggu. Aku percaya. Aku percaya. Sukacita. Sukacita. Damai sejahtera. Damai sejahtera. Mengalir. Mengalir. Pagi hari ini. Pagi hari ini. Dalam nama Yesus. Dalam nama Yesus. Amin. Amin. Oke. Saatnya kita mau belajar lagu baru, Bu. Oh, ada. Ada. Lagunya bagus, Lu. Asik. Ayo, ya. Kalian boleh mengikuti juga.
senang banget ya Oleh karena kasih Tuhan Aku dan kamu diselamatkan Bu Iya Bu Bu ya. Tuhan Yesus itu mengasihi kita loh Dia mati di kayu salib Menebus dosa-dosaku dan dosa-dosamu iya. Juga dosa-dosa orang-orang Anak-anak yang mau percaya kepadanya Tuhan Yesus sungguh hebat ya Iya, ya. hebat Yuk kita muji Tuhan lagi Oke okay. Yesus sayang padaku Kamu hafal murid-murid Yesus gak? Hmm, aku... Coba sebutin dua saja Dua? Ya gampang kan? Iya Satu Siapa? Petrus Wow betul adik-adik Iya -adik. betul Siapa lagi? Andreas Betul kah? Iya Ada Yakobus, Ada Yohanes Filipus Thomas dan Matius. Bartolomius, Matius ada, ada Yudas dan juga Simon. Wow. Yuk kita nyanyi 12 murid Yesus ya. Wah, aku 
jadi hafal nih Bobo Iya Ya sekarang kita siapkan persembahannya ya Ayo kita siapkan Halo Dede Hai. Saatnya kita memberikan persembahan dengan hati yang penuh sukacita Dan juga persembahan bisa dikumpulkan ke orang tua ya? Atau ke kata-kata yang kaya kenal Kita nyanyi yuk Yuk kita nyanyi Sebentar lagi, lagi kami, kami akan, akan mendengarkan, mendengarkan cerita, cerita firmanmu. firmanmu. Berkati kami Tuhan. Berkati kami Tuhan. Amin. Amin. Nah adik-adik hari ini kita akan mendengarkan cerita tentang seorang bapak yang sabar sekali. Yang Dia takut dengan Tuhan sekali Namanya Bapak Ayu Bupu sih biasa manggilnya Om Ayu Mau tahu ceritanya? Kita lihat kisahnya Job was his name And his fame had spread Throughout the land He owned 7,000 sheep 3,000 camels too He had 1,000 oxen and so many things to do. Job had 10 precious children. He also had a wife. He had many helpful servants. Oh, how happy was his life. But one thing made Job different 
from other men and us. He loved God and did good no matter where he was. God was very proud of Job for doing such good deeds because Job often helped the poor and those with special needs. But one day, Satan came to God to tell God where he'd been. God asked if he had looked at Job, a man who hated sin. Does Job serve God for nothing? said Satan to the Lord. You have made him very rich and blessed him with great rewards. If you take away Job's blessings, he'll stop doing what is right. He will soon be doing things that are wicked in your sight. So God allowed cruel Satan to take away Job's joy. In a single day, Job's children died and his riches were destroyed. Even though Job's heart was broken, he did not give up the fight. He kept on trusting God and continued doing right. But Satan wasn't finished, being cruel to this poor man. So he talked with God again about another wicked plan. You know Job only serves you, God, because he is not sickly. If you let me take his health, he will curse you very quickly. God knew Job wouldn't turn away from doing what was right. So he let the wicked devil take Job's health and all his might. Upon the skin of Job, painful boils began to grow from the tip top of his head to the bottom of his toe. He could not sleep at night because the boils hurt so much and his entire body hurt whenever it was touched. So he sat in piles of ashes, feeling lonely and down, and he scratched the painful boils as he sat upon the ground. His three friends came to see him from many miles around to visit their poor friend who was sitting on the ground. <clears throat> Eliphaz, Bildad, and Zophor were Job's three caring friends who came to try and help poor Job be happy once again. <laughs> but his friends couldn't understand why Job was suffering. They thought he must have done some very wicked thing. But Job knew he had done nothing that would cause God to get mad. Yet he wondered, why the Lord allowed his life to get so bad. So he prayed that God would speak to him, letting him know why all this pain had come into his life and his children had to die. For many days, Job pleaded to be answered by the Lord. God heard his many cries and listened to his word. Then God began to speak to Job to help him understand that only God can rule the world and make it fit for man. God asked Job to explain how the stars stay in the sky. He asked him to explain how the soaring eagles fly. Could Job, as a man, catch the huge leviathan? Could Job kill behemoth? or trap him in a pen. When God had finished speaking, Job bowed his head in prayer. He knew that he was wrong to question God's good care. But God was very happy with the patience of this man. So God gave him twice as much as he had when he began. Job had 14,000 sheep. 6,000 camels too. He had 2,000 oxen. Now there was more to do. Job had 10 more children. He still had his wife. He had many more new servants. Oh, how happy was his life. He had three more daughters who made his life so grand. They grew to be the fairest of all women in the land. 
Job lived for many years, watching his grandchildren grow. But he started getting old, it was time for him to go. So Job died a happy man, old and full of days. And God was very proud of Job for all his patient ways. Nah, kita udah lihat lagi kisahnya Om Ayu. Kasihan ya, dia sudah kehilangan hartanya, kehilangan anaknya, ditinggalkan teman-temannya, ditinggal istrinya. Tapi apa yang bisa kita pelajari dari Om Ayu? Kita harus sabar. Kita harus tunduk dan taat kepada Tuhan. Lihat Om Ayu, walaupun dia susah, dia tetap mengandalkan Tuhan. Dan Om Ayu juga belajar dari setiap kesalahan yang dia perbuat. Dia belajar dan akhirnya Om Ayu berhasil kembali. Jadi adik-adik harus taat, dengar dengaran dan takut akan Tuhan dan sabar tentunya. Oke? Kita sudah selesai ibadahnya. Jangan sedih, ini depan kita. Akan